You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. And what I mean by that, it's an opportunity to do things that you think you could not do before. The Bible predicts that there's coming a world peace. It will come. But listen, it will be a deceptive peace. It will be the most subtle and the most deceptive trap that's ever been set. Because it'll catch the world in it. And they'll be caught and they'll be destroyed. There's a lot of propaganda, nonsense in a sick sort of way. Practically implanted all over the planet. We're seeing signs of the plans they've enacted, the ones they've infected. Media connections, implanted messages with music, movies, they hit from all directions. Black evil masses, it's what they practice in the fast lane, telling the souls that broken death. I've had to make statements like this too many times. You can't watch massacre after massacre. Communities like this have had to endure tragedies like this too many times. And not come to the conclusion that, as President Obama said, we must tackle this challenge with urgency. We have to move public opinion. We have to feel a sense of urgency. We have to use this most recent tragedy should call all of us to action this is a national tragedy it's a national disaster so let's just cut to the chase it's guns it's also about guns 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 how many people do we need to see cut down how many senseless acts of violence do we have to endure as a people from little children to church members before we stand up we need the american people to rise up before we act how many more Americans have to die? At some point as a country, we have to reckon with what happens. It is not good enough simply to show sympathy. There's got to be something we can do. Well, there, there are, I think, a, a combination of things that we, that we can do. Uh, it's possible for us to do more. We've got to do more. If we in America can't use this as a, as a reason to address uh, these issues, then, you know, we're not doing a very good job. And it is in our power to do something about it. What if a progressive state made a law about guns where it was very hard to get a gun? Basically, the only way to guarantee that we would dramatically reduce uh, acts of violence involving guns is to basically remove guns from society. And until somebody uh, gets enough oomph to repeal the Second Amendment, that's not going to happen. Can't you see a truth movement take over in full effect? Open your eyes to these lies and clean up the mess. How can we know what's fact from the fiction? Part in a world full of disinformation. Wolves in sheep's clothing, imitations. How will you know without a foundation? How can we know?